Rocky Ari from the Game Fanatics, and it's oh snap! Xbox One. I wish there was a lot to talk about the Xbox One, but there really isn't. It, that says volumes about Microsoft's press re reveal. First, let's talk about the name. It's, I hated it at first. Xbox One. Wasn't one of the main reasons that they named Xbox 360 as it is, is because it sounds weird next to PS3, Xbox 2 versus PS3. So now they kind of take a step back, but if you think about it, they're trying to reboot the console's image. So giving it the name Xbox One sort of makes sense. But they should have kept with another name. They should have kept with Durango. But I mean, hell, Xbox Infinity just works just as well. Um, so and the, the first chunk of the reveal was kind of weird to watch. Instead of a console, we're treated to a glorified cable box that we can yell at and tell it to go home. Not a big sports guy here. Not the biggest sports guy. Everyone knows that. But man, for all the EA games, fantasy football, live sports streaming, they're really trying to reach that male 25 to 54 audience. I know that's where you get all your money from. But come on, diversify! And with that said, man, those EA games look gorgeous. But I'm sure they will look just as good on a PS4 or a modern PC. Come on, deliver some exclusives. And you know what? They did-ish. They showed a video for Forza 5. I'm a big Forza more sports fan. I love that game. Um, Microsoft did just release Halo or, and the um, Gears of War, so they need one of their exclusives to pull out of their sleeves. Forza 5 is a good ace out their sleeve, but it's a racing sim. It doesn't have mass market appeal as uh, a Halo, so I am pretty sure it's not Forza 5, though I will buy it. it not a lot of people are going to buy it, and it's not going to fly off the shelves. It's really it's kind of weird but you know they did say they're gonna have um, they're gonna have they have 15 games in the works eight of them are are um, new IP so who's, who knows it's probably gonna be they're probably gonna have a game that reaches about reaches a bunch of audience maybe they have a new banjo kazooie or something from the rare library Battletoads, whatever but the, then also they showed Remedy. I mean, I mean, I'm a big Remedy fan. I love me some bullet time and some manuscripts. And I'm actually glad that Microsoft is taking a new chance at this new IP. But will I play the game? Probably. Will I watch that show that comes with it? Probably not. I'm not a big TV guy, but you know, it's... Yeah, probably not. Then, I mean, speaking of TV, then a bunch of people come out talking about Xbox TV. This has nothing to do with the console. I'm glad they're making a Halo TV series and Steven Spielberg go, but and Forward Unto Dawn is pretty cool. Needless to say, it has nothing to do, to do with the console. They should have put it somewhere else. It wasn't interesting. It was lame. It made the whole thing stop at a halt and we're like, what the hell, Xbox TV? Oh, well, anyway. After that, show closes with, what else? Call of Duty. Ghosts. Awesome! Another non-exclusive title that will be out on other platforms! Timed exclusive, probably, but ooh, you're pulling out all the stops, Microsoft, with this time exclusives! So you know what the new Call of Duty? You can vault over walls, slide, you can lean. Totally something that Far Cry 3, Dishonored, and Mirror's Edge haven't done before. Jeez, I know I'm being, being a little bit... Um, Negative, but come on! What did they announce? Sports games from EA? Call of Duty. Nothing groundbreaking there, Microsoft. Nothing. But be sure to check out thegamefanatics.com for more news about the Xbox One. And check out our YouTube channel for more videos. And don't forget to like, circle, or subscribe through all our social medias. So this has been Rai Kayari. Check you guys soon.